This is the main reason why I wanted to go to AX, you guys. And I'm really, really sad that I'm not going because... Hey guys, it's Panajess and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought that since Anime Expo is in less than two weeks, I would go through the AX guide and kind of like suggest recommend uh, just talk about some of the cool stuff that I found while skimming through the guide and stuff that I've been like seeing for the past few months since they've been um, announcing more and more events uh, coming up uh, so yeah I oh my gosh my battery is gonna die on my phone that's great okay so I actually downloaded the AX app and this is what it looks like I feel like I don't know if I'm gonna do like screenshots here about some of the schedule or I don't know I'll figure it out while I'm editing <laughs> anyways yeah I downloaded the app and it's pretty organized this year it's different from last year from what I remember um, it has like uh, my schedule my favorite schedules and guests exhibitors artist alleys so it's kind of like all in one and it's like it looks pretty organized. I'm pretty impressed for this year's um, AX guide. Okay, so bear with me, you guys. I'm gonna be like looking at the screen and then looking at you guys. It's it's gonna be all over the place. But usually preview night or pre-show night is like the concerts and like after hours stuff, like shows that they put on. Uh, there's some ticketed events, but the last Last year, I went to the Aqua concert. They have two concerts this year, which is pretty exciting. They have one on Friday the 5th and Saturday the 6th. So hopefully if you guys got tickets to that, you're going either one or both days. So I'm sad to say that I am not going to AX. Um, I kind of put off getting my badge and now it's like really really expensive so i'm not going to ax this year unless like a magical badge shows up on the days that i don't have work but yeah i'm so sorry you guys i don't know if you guys want to do a meetup i'd only be able to do a meetup on the first day which is thursday or sunday uh which is the last day so, I mean, not that I have many followers, but some people have asked, so I'm just like putting it out there. But yeah, this is why I'm doing the AX guide right now with you guys, because I want you guys to like prepare yourself for, and be, you know, ready for the chaos and not like, basically not die. <laughs> okay, so there are like a few like evening things during... <laughs> Excuse you, Miko. Uh, during pre-show night, but most of it's like after-hours stuff. So there's like DJs and like shows that you can like go to. It's like a anime nightclub, I guess. I don't know what to call it. I've never been to any of the after-hours stuff or like the 18 and plus um, because I'm usually really tired by the time the convention is done at like 6. So I know, and like people have never asked me to go out to the after hours stuff. So I just use that as, as an excuse to like go back home and sit in my bed, watch anime and eat ice cream until the next day. So yeah, um, I didn't really see anything for Wednesday pre-show night. And for pre-show night, you usually have to get the pre-show badge. And last year, you had to get the badge, like a separate badge for the concerts. Because most of the concerts were on Wednesday. But that's not the case this year. So I think you guys are good. Uh, for Thursday, they have um, the Maid Cafe and Butler Cafes going through the whole convention. I've never been to one. One of these days I will get myself to go to one because I have friends who are actually in it. So I feel like I should support them. I just, I usually only have one or two days 
to go and I never can make my make it out there to sit down and watch because I'm usually just all over the place trying to like get footage <laughs> which is really bad because I do enjoy it it's just like I feel like I need to get all my stuff done before I can like not have to worry about filming you know anyways for Thursday I found the Street Fighter Novo Takeover sponsored by Capcom that's going on at 2 o'clock um, they're doing a panel and then they're doing an ultimate cosplay showdown that sounded really really fun I thought that some of you guys might enjoy and like be interested in that they are doing a panel for World of Street Fighter and then they're going to do a cosplay contest where people show their cosplay test their skills and battle you know battle one another like they do in Street Fighter I don't know that's just sounded really cool they don't usually do that it's kind of just like a cosplay contest and they do a skit or like they just show it but it feels like they're taking it to a Street Fighter level and that's kind of like what stuck out to me when I was reading about it. So yeah, I found Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution screening. It's an exclusive screening, you guys, at 3.30. It doesn't say much about it, but I mean, it's a screening, so it's the movie, obviously. I thought some of you guys might like that. Uh, Funimation is going to do a panel at 4 o'clock. I know, these are all on Thursday, so it's kind of just like listed, so I like don't lose my thought. So they'll be announcing some new stuff, I'm guessing? So like Akira, probably Dragon Ball Z, maybe some more fruits baskets. Who's watching Fruits Basket, you guys? I got James into it. Oh my goodness. It's the best thing ever. I'm so excited that he's watching it. It's just like a roller coaster of emotions for him for watching it the first time. But like for me, it's like nostalgia and it just makes me happy even though there are sad episodes. So I'm so happy. And when this episode comes out, or when this when this video is out i've already probably watched the new episode i really hope they continue the series as one of those people who in the first season was stuck on that that horrible cliffhanger but we're getting a second chance right here please i hope i hope that they finish it that's all i ask for you guys really and then i can die happy okay we are on friday now this is this is the main reason why I wanted to go to AX, you guys. And I'm really, really sad that I'm not going because Viz Media is bringing out the creator of Oran High School Host Club, okay? Let me, okay. I am, I would not say that I'm a hopeless romantic, but if I tell you all of the anime that I've watched, like, that got me into anime, like you'd think that I was. Online High School Host Club, Fruits Basket, Card Captor Sakura. There's, it's just a lot of like, I don't want to say love stories, but they're kind of love stories. Okay, just let's go back to it. They're bringing, um, really don't want to butcher the name, Bisco Hattori. That doesn't sound, that sounds okay, I guess. So, at first, I thought it was just like a signing, but they're doing a whole panel with her and everyone who goes to the panel, they get this really cool, uh, like limited exclusive poster. They have not shown it, but I mean, it's gotta be Orin High School Host Club, doesn't it? Like, I, oh my goodness, you guys, I, I'm so mad that I'm not going, oh my gosh. If anyone's going and they want to go to this panel, let me know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe one of my friends will go for me. We'll see how much they love me. This one is mainly for my brother. It's called Warner Brothers Japan Anime Lineup featuring JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So JoJo is my brother's, I want to say, like, ultimate favorite. So it says that Warner Brothers Japan is back again with our most prominent anime series, including High Score Girl, Food Wars, Mob Psycho. Wow, they did a lot of good ones. What the heck? I didn't even realize. And 
It says, get hyped for the finale of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golds and Wind. So Jason, if you're watching this, you might want to put this on your schedule. So yeah, um, I guess they're doing some giveaways. They're going to be answering questions that you guys have if you want to go to that panel. It actually sounds really cool now that I like know that these series came from them. That's, that's awesome. For Saturday, y'all know I have to come out with it. It's going to be... Your top priority, if you are a Bogo no Hero fan, if you are a My Hero Academia fan, you have to go to this channel. It's the My Hero Academia Season 4, Season 4 Boys premiere. How exciting is that? The season comes out in October, so you will be seeing it July, August, September. You'll be seeing it three months in advance. I believe they're only doing the first four episodes. So don't call me on that. I'm not sure where I read it, but I thought I saw episode one of four, but I don't know. They could be just showing you the first like one or two. Prepare to go plus ultra as we premiere new episodes. So episodes, you're getting more than one episode for the new season. This one is at 10 a.m. Um, a lot of people are asking about when I watched the premiere of the My Hero Academia movie, what time I got there, how long did I wait in line, so I will answer that question or those questions now. I basically did not go to sleep. I maybe slept for two hours. I woke up at 3, 4 a.m to the convention center. We stayed in the parking garage for maybe an hour. So at like six o'clock, we went to, I don't know which wing we went to. I, my direction is very terrible, you guys. Everyone will let you know that. But we basically had to get in line to get in line to be let into the convention center. Six o'clock, so we waited till eight for them to actually open the convention center. So we waited two hours and then they let us in and then we waited three hours because the movie, or no, yeah, three hours to be, to be let in and like sit down and find our seat because it started at 12. From, I would say from the time that I lined up at like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, we waited 6 hours <laughs> for a 12 o'clock show, show wing. Anyways, I hope that answers your question. I hope that it's not too confusing. This is another one that I saw that was really, really interesting to me personally. Um, it's called The Future of Digimon. Uh, Toei Animation and Bandai, they're doing a whole panel. They talk about Digimon and basically what they have in store for it. I guess there's new, like, trailers, so, which means there's new seasons. Okay, totally honest, I stopped after the card one. So like where they have their digivice and then they can like swipe it and then they, you know, put armor on them, on them. And like once there was the season where they turn into their Digimon, I was like, okay, what is this? I don't understand it. I, this is like definitely for the new generations. Okay, uh, there's something called the Good Smile Company Game Show. I guess you can test your knowledge of Good Smile and you get to win prizes like Nendroids, Figmas, so like all their really cool and cute figures. That'll be fun. They always have this masquerade ball. I've never been to it. I really should go to some of these events. They sound like fun. I just, I'm an old lady and I just want to like go to sleep after a long day of like shopping and walking around and maybe next time I should just get a hotel and like chill at AX. I don't know. Okay, so for the last day, I only have like two things. One, it's called build, build your own Pokeball Habitat. That sounded really funny. Um, it's a workshop. People learn how to build their very own Pokeball mon pokeball habitat i guess it's like an arts and craft thing because they said you get your hands dirty and you can take it home with you i wonder if it's gonna be like glass pokeballs i feel like that would be so cute have you guys seen like art drawings of those where it just shows like what they think like charmander's habitat would look like or bulbasaur's or squirtles i feel like it's always those three that that people want to do. If anyone wants to do like a Sylveon one, that'd be really cute. 
And then the last one is called Rascal Does Not Dream of a Dreaming Girl US Premiere. I know James really likes this one, so I thought that I'd like put this one in for him. Even though he's not going either, but oh well. It was a really good uh, anime from what I hear. I should probably watch it, um, but I hear a lot of people like it. So if you're one of those people, this is for you too. It's a US premiere. Oh, it's a, it's a movie. Oh, I, I saw um, things for this. I didn't do like boots or anything. I just wanted to go through like the guide and see like what's going on in the schedule because I never really like take the time to look at everything thoroughly. <laughs> That's Wednesday to Saturday. There's a lot of things that I did not go through, but if you guys want, you can check out the AX guide for yourself. You can download it on the iTunes store, Apple store, Apple store. Sorry if some of these things like weren't interesting to you. Hopefully at least one of them is and you are able to go to it if you are going to AX. I mean, again, I am really sorry that I'm not going to be able to make it. Um, if you guys want to do a small meetup, let me know down in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Anyways, thanks for getting through this video, even though it's kind of just like, and we're just rambling the whole time. Anyways, this is pretty much the end of the video. Thanks you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it or it helped even a little bit, please give me a thumbs up and, you know, comment down below what you guys are most excited for AX this year. I hope we do a little meetup because then I can meet some of you guys. Um, that would be really fun. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Panda Jess. See you guys later. Bye!